Southwell Ultimate Schools, Mr. Miller, with your Monday morning announcements. Welcome to yet another fantastic week of school here at Alta Mesa. Um, it's going to be a great week this week, guys. <clears throat> but I need to tell you, I need to warn you, we got a lot of things that are happening over uh, the next couple weeks through October. It's a busy month. We are getting into the busy season here at school. Um, so really want you guys to pay attention to all the things happening. Make sure your parents are uh, looking at our school newsletter because there's just a lot of things happening. But I don't want to take up too much of your time uh, with uh, just prefacing a lot of what's happening, but I want to get into the nitty gritty of it. But first, let's start out with our character reminder for this month. Uh, we are going to Mr. Havelina's class. Now, as we are entering in to October last month, we talked a lot about being proactive. This month, we are talking about habit number two of the seven habits of highly effective people, and that is the habit of beginning with the end in mind. So starting something and then saying, What's the end goal that I have here? And a big part of that is goal setting and goal tracking. So let's go over to Mr. Havelina's class and let's talk about beginning with the end in mind, which also links to our character trait for this month, which, which is self-direction. So goal setting, self-direction, beginning with the end in mind, it all comes together. Synergizes, which is another, another character trait. But let's head over to Mr. Havelina's class to talk to some students from Mr. Havelina's class on goal setting. One thing I do to be self-driven is set goals. So this is my reading goal. My reading goal says that I will read 159 p.m. on my fluency. And my math goal uh, is four out of five. And uh, if I pass an iReady lesson, I get stamps so I got two stamps right here and I passed two AR books. To be self-driven I track my Friday math quiz and I've always got five out of five. It's five questions. To be self-driven I keep track of weekly trimester goals and I always got a good smiley face. All right, thank you guys for talking us through how you guys set goals, track your goals all the way throughout the trimester. Another thing that we are doing this month is this month we are focusing on some major topics in school, which is we want to be focused on anti-bullying, so making sure that we're not bullying, we're not um, having bullying on our campus and how we respond if those situations pop up. We are going to be talking about Digital Citizenship Week a little bit later in the month, and then also drug prevention with our Red Ribbon Week. But let's first check into this video asking what type of person you want to be on campus. Let's roll the video. What kind are you? The welcoming kind? Isn't that the girl from our science class? Hi! The inclusive kind? Let's do this. Come on, David. Good. Mustang! The friendly kind? Yeah. Oh, let's see them! Yo, those are dope. Jeez! The respectful kind? Yeah. Kindness. Everyone deserves kindness. Become a part of it at muststopbullying.org. All right, so just think about that. What type of person are you on this campus? Are you the welcoming type? Are you the inviting type? That's what we want to see on campus. All right, guys, let's send it over to our cafeteria ladies to see what is happening this week in the cafeteria. Take it away, ladies. Good morning, guys. It's Miss Claudia. Miss Megan. And we're going to go over the menu for the week. Monday today is going to be Cook's Choice. For lunch, we're gonna have chicken nuggets with a homemade banana bread. Tuesday's gonna be a muffin. For lunch, will be orange chicken or teriyaki chicken. Wednesday's gonna be a cheese om omelet. For lunch, will be a cheeseburger and tots. Thursday's gonna be an egg and cheese muffin. For lunch, will be tacos. Friday's gonna be a parfait. And for lunch, will be pizza and a special treat. Have, have a great week. week. All right, thank you ladies. What an excellent menu we have for you this week. Okay, for shout outs, we have some shout outs. Let's kick the music. And here are your shout outs for this week. 
I'm gonna go through them as fast as I can. In Mrs. Tuggles' class, we have Michael. Michael's always working hard and following directions for the first time. In Mrs. Schmidt's class, we have Brianna. She's staying focused on her worksheets and finishing them in a timely manner. In Mrs. Murphy's class, we have Lakai. Lakai always working hard in groups and helping others. In Mrs. Isis's class, we have Blake Rose, who's thinking about others and being kind to his friends. In Mrs. Randolph's class, we have Noah Yang. Noah has been incredibly kind and stood up for his friends. In Mrs. Duke's class, Lily Lothmark. Lily is very helpful in class and working very hard in math. In Mr. Havelina's class, Ellie Chow. Uh, she has the best behavior and works extremely hard. In Mrs. Haig's class, uh, El uh, Elia Joseph, or Elia Joseph. Uh, she's completed and passed o several iReady lessons last week. Mrs. Brewer's class, Dylan. Dylan did a great job being our ambassador last week. Way to go, Dylan. Miss McNeely's class, Cash Manning. Cash has been working so hard in class to me as AR goal this week. Great job, Cash. And Mrs. Hulman's class, Maya Evans. Maya has been working hard in class, asking questions and getting work done. Miss Lindsley's class, Kenzo, has been working hard to stay focused and on task. In Mrs. Hernandez's class, sorry, Mrs. King's class, we have Devin. Devin has been working hard in Mrs. Lindsley's math class and in math and at math and being patient and flexible. In Mrs. Hernandez's class, Iris. Iris has been communicating and uh, what she wants all the way throughout the day. And in Mrs. Ross class, Asher has been doing a wonderful job as well. Those are your shout outs for this week. Great job. Remember, come up to the office where you can find a prize bag. All right, guys, four announcements this week. Uh, Want to get into all of the, the announcements that we have going through the week. Uh, this week, we have some things starting and ending as well. So ending is our final cross country meet is on Thursday for our TK through fifth grade cross country runners. That is at Boulder Creek. That is an all school meet. So you want to remind your parents to get there early. Starting this week, we have our uh, fourth and fifth grade soccer permission slips are going out. So if you are interested in fourth and fifth grade co-ed soccer, you can get those permission slips. Also, Mr. Havlina is doing fourth and fifth grade basketball camp. Not to be confused with fourth and fifth grade basketball. This is camp. This is a great opportunity for you to practice your skills, get ready for the season, which is after Christmas. Okay, so that's basketball camp. We also have our garden club happening this week. So we want to be, remind you that garden club is happening this week, as well as, uh, well, oh, and also with garden club, we are having all garden club members, uh, especially the ones that are in younger grade levels, stay out at the kindergarten play ground because that is where they will be meeting with Miss Kate. So don't be confused on where to go. You'll meet in the kindergarten playground up against the wall with Miss Kate uh, prior to garden club happening. I want to remind you guys that we have picture retakes on uh, the 20th, I believe. Picture retakes is October 20th. Uh, so uh, make sure if you need your picture retaken that that happens on October 20th. Uh, we also have our Movies in the Mesa next Friday. So make sure you mark that down on your calendar for Movies in the Mesa next Friday as well. And STEM Club, of course, is this week on Tuesday and Thursday. It is going to be a fantastic week. I hope I got through this. I hope I get through this entire message in under 10 minutes. I'm not sure. I've been really, really working hard. If I had to speed it up and speed ramp it, I did that last week. We'll do that. But you know what, guys? Let's take everything we're doing. Let's take our citizenship. Let's take our character. Let's take our goal setting. Let's take being self-driven and let's make this the best week ever.